Lifetime is bringing viewers to the year 2025, and this is a different kind of science fiction series which explores the battle for the future of the creation of mankind. It's called The Lottery. With us today, two of the stars, Marley Shelton and Michael Grazade. Good morning, guys. Good morning. Hello. Hi. So the idea is the next endangered species is us. Lay out the crisis <laughs> that's developing here. Right? I think it even says that on our uh -huh. poster. Yeah, it does. Yeah. Um, okay, so basically, like you said, we're, our story picks up. It's 10 years in the future, and no one, mysteriously, no one's able to have children. There's a global fertility crisis, and the youngest child on the planet is six years old. Mm. There, well, there's a few of them, and one of them is I his son. I have one of my, my son, Elvis. Exactly. And my character, Dr. Allison Lennon, is a scientist who manages to successfully fertilize a hundred viable human embryos, which could be the cure to solve all of this um, a horrible crisis. Mm -hmm. but, uh, but we, so that's where it picks up. But I promptly get kicked off my own project and the government takes it over. Yeah. And um, all sorts of secret plots and agendas ensue right. from well, there. I saw that's kind part of the point where the government steps in and they decide to hold a national lottery to see which women will be the lucky few mm -hmm. to carry the 100 embryos and maybe have a chance at having a future at humanity. And that's the lottery. But I saw a scene, Marley, where you're, looks like you're sneaking in to steal an embryo. I don't know if I saw that correctly or not, but I mean, it seems kind yes. of intense. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. There's, you know, there's a lot. The stakes are very high on this uh -huh. show, and there's a lot of intense moments. But but that that particular intense moment was... Um, I do. I get after I get fired. I go back and try to steal one of the embryos because I believe I've, I've now met one of the egg donors, and I told her that she has this potential child in oh. a test tube, and she wants it back. Mm -hmm. So I go and try to steal it for her, and then I won't say what happens because the show hasn't aired yet. Right. But um, it gets <laughs> yeah. even scarier and darker. But I'm definitely on the run in the pilot. I'm yeah. being chased. Uh, you know, there's. There's a thriller suspense aspect to all of this that's pretty entertaining. No, yeah, it's I kind of I think it's kind of new ground for uh, Lifetime because it is a government conspiracy yeah. thriller with a little bit of a sci-fi twist. And not only is it those things, but it's a show that really does transcend all genres. Like Marley was saying, there's going to be all these different aspects to uh -huh. it. And uh, I, I think that that's going to hopefully wind up speaking to a much broader audience and bringing in a lot of viewers for That's us. That's such an they, interesting I don't, point. I don't think they'll be upset once well, they see the show. We get used to with Lifetime. <laughs> I know, like Lifetime as a woman, I mean, I'm kind of used to the fluffier stuff, but this is a little bit right. a little bit darker for well, the don't, By the way, there's still like, there, you're still going to get your romance. There's like, <laughs> you know, it really does, it's yeah. got it all. I mean, there's, there's, there's intrigue, there's... Um, you name it, it's in there. There's, you know, I, what I love about the show is here you have all this, all these really interesting provocative elements like the future, it's set in the future and the political drama, but it's still essentially a human drama and it's about how human beings mm -hmm. relate to each other mm -hmm. or don't relate to each other. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, so I think you're going to, I think you're going to be a fan. I hope so. Michael, we've got about a minute. I've read some of the comments online, people saying it looks good. It hasn't premiered yet, but just what we've seen so far, what kind of feedback are you receiving? What kind of feedback? Well, I'm uh, locked away in Montreal right now filming aside uh -huh. from our uh, interview right now. <laughs> so I'm not getting too much feedback. I'm getting the feedback that my mom's pulling off the internet because she, <laughs> I think, is my biggest fan. Right. And she tells me on a daily basis <laughs> that people, people seem to really be looking forward yeah. to it. So that's, that's nice to hear. Well, the trailer looks great. I'd recommend to our viewers if they get a chance to jump online, search it out and watch it. And then the lottery premieres Sunday night at 9 on Lifetime. Marley and Michael, thanks for joining us. Thank, Thank you. you. Thanks, Mike.